Welcome to my review of the Designer Habitat 1400 Watt Halogen Oven. I saw a family member um, with one of these the other day and uh, I was so impressed by it I thought I'd give it a go. I'd seen a few of them around on tele shopping channels etc before and thought it was just one of those uh, kind of gimmicky things that wasn't going to work but uh, I was actually really impressed and considering I'm, I'm normally cooking just for myself uh, uh, rather than heating up a whole oven or the Rayburn, uh, I thought, thought I'd give it a try. So on first opening up we've got the manual there, rather thin which is slightly worrying. Uh, certainly they've chucked in a few recipes but it's not going to be very good to get you started. Um, luckily with this package I bought from Amazon you also get uh, a 200 page cookbook for halogen cookers which is really handy because certainly cooking with them is slightly different to usual. Uh, this is the heating element I'm just pulling out now. And uh, we've got a few more accessories in here. This lovely dinosaur dragon uh, oven mitt, rather random choice. Uh, they did say you don't really get a chance to specify but Dragons is uh, not the first thing I thought I was going to be seeing. We've got the main part of the oven here, the large glass bowl and uh, all the cooking racks that come with this particular purchase. Um, and uh, it was one of the ones that supposedly comes with £50 worth of extras including the extension ring, uh, grill pan, skewers, a uh, couple of racks etc. There's the extension ring. Um, but £50 is probably a bit of a stretch of the imagination. Um, but all in all, uh, all looks pretty well built and uh, quite impressed so far. Um, we've got the, the rack to actually place it on here so that you can keep the uh, uh, from burning the, the uh, work surface you may be uh, cooking on. And we'll get that down there and we'll get this thing put together. Right, we're back and uh, we've put the uh, cooker together. Uh, we just dropped two racks in there. I'm not sure whether this is the right way to do it, but I gave up with the instructions, to be honest. Um, I've got the dual racks in there. I'm going to be doing something very simple. As you can see, I've got, I've got a quarter chicken here and I'm going to be doing uh, just a kind of roast uh, chicken quarter and some chips. Just putting some seasoning on there now. Uh, I'll cook the chicken on the, the top rack and uh, about halfway through cooking the chicken I'm going to drop the chips on the bottom. Now I know these cookers are supposed to cook a lot quicker so I'm planning to cook the chicken quarter for 35 minutes in total and the chips themselves for around about 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, but we're just going to get this all put in now and there we go, we set the timer and it's away, it's a really bright light actually. Uh, as you can as you can see um, but uh, already the heat coming off of this is actually quite astonishing you don't expect it to be quite that uh, um, quite that strong but uh, see if we can get a slightly closer up look there you can see the chickens in there ready and uh, we'll be adding the chips a little bit later on but already that, that's uh, not far off of being up to temperature. Uh, they do say no preheating required. Once it's up to temperature, that's it, you're away. So uh, I'll be coming back in a little bit and uh, we'll see how we get on. We're back in 15 minutes in. I've just dropped the chips in there and uh, uh, set the heater to come back on again. Already the skin is crisping up and the fluids, all the juices underneath the skin are bubbling up, so it's looking good. I'm just hoping it doesn't dry out too much, uh, but I'll let it carry on and we'll come back to it shortly. Right, uh, here we are, just about to dish up. Uh, unfortunately, slight hiccup. I had to put the chicken in just a tad longer just to get the skin slightly crisped up. So all in all, it was in there for about 40 minutes, uh, but it wasn't actually in the recipe book, so I had to kind of guess at how long it would take. Certainly the chips themselves cooked in 20 minutes and they're, they're perfect, they're very crispy. And uh, this chicken right now is looking really, really good actually. Uh, I don't know whether you can 
Well, you heard that when I tried picking it up then, but all the uh, uh, skin on the chicken was sounding very, very crispy. Uh, but I'm going to go away and eat this up now, and uh, I'll let you know how it is. But I can certainly say it's looking fantastic at the moment. Well, I can honestly say the meal was absolutely fantastic. And um, one thing it may be worth mentioning is that food doesn't seem to brown up perhaps quite as much as it would in the oven. Now, you've just seen me put some washing up liquid in here, and you may think, what is he doing? Well, believe it or not, this little machine has a self-cleaning function. We just set the dials here, and I've put it to wash, dropped a little bit of water and washing up liquid in there, and uh, I don't know whether we can uh, get a slightly better view on this, but you can see it's starting to oscillate and uh, with the, the power of the fan in there it actually spins the water around in the bowl and self-cleans. I've actually left uh, one of the racks in here as well. Let's, let's just have a quick closer look. You can see how sort of vigorous it's cleaning around in there. You can just set it on for 10 minutes or so and it'll just loosen up and remove any of the, the staining that you may get from uh, um, from what you've cooked and you may, may see the light going on and off there that's actually uh, uh, basically once it gets up to the temperature it needs to get to it'll kick in and out to save uh, to save electricity but uh, a fantastic function and certainly it's going to be clean and uh, ready to go for next time which I'm really looking forward to the use so all in all for the £37 I, I paid from Amazon uh, I probably couldn't recommend this enough. Really handy if you live by yourself and you're looking to either save space and not having an oven or, or perhaps save energy because uh, certainly buying electricity isn't cheap. Um, this particular one is about half the cost of running my, my full oven and obviously probably a bit more than that because there's no, uh, no warm up time. So um, if you're after a halogen oven or if you're after an oven in general I'd certainly recommend for the money giving one of these a go. Thank you for uh, watching and uh, keep an eye out for any new videos I may be posting soon.